Now, overpromising does not mean promising things you cannot deliver. That's called lying. And that's a bad thing. Okay? An overpromise should tell your customers and potential customers three things what to expect, how you are different, and why they should choose you. And any well crafted overpromise will do that. My favorite. FedEx, when it absolutely, positively has to be there overnight. Now, why, in 1973, when they launched FedEx, didn't they go out there and say, we ship stuff? Because everybody ships stuff, right? So nobody would have paid attention. So they had to really make sure that people understood when to call them. Don't call me if you're just shipping a regular package and you don't care when it gets there. But when your job is on the, on the line, when your career is on the line, when the contract is on the line, that is when you call us, when it absolutely, positively has to be there overnight. So let me just ask you a question. Just intuitively, you notice that FedEx used as their, as their symbol, they chose an airplane. Now, just intuitively, if your job is on the line and it absolutely, positively has to be there overnight, would you choose the guy with the truck or the guy with the plane? You see, it's critical that these things align. So let's talk about FedEx's overpromise. 